Yo, Squeeze Tube, it's your boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all boys how to make some aggressive BR loops for NBA Youngboy. Let's go right into it. First things first, um, this will probably be a part of a loop kit in, in either an upcoming video or the video is already out. So if the video is out already, it will be in the link in the description. If not, go run that video up. The loop kit will be 100% free for y'all and this loop will be in it. So let's get into it. First thing I did was I loaded up Omnisphere and I got this uh, Rhodes. I started off just with a piano because I kind of wanted something dark. And whenever I replaced the piano with the Rhodes, I decided to turn it into an NBA Youngboy beat. And this is what the Rhodes sound like. So I'm gonna show y'all how I did this. First thing I did was I got the key and the key was F. And I took this root note and I went up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you know, one, three, and seven make a chord uh, for a minor at least. And so I just, I didn't really want this note right here. I didn't want that. I like that more. And then I just took the root note, copied it up. And I wanted to add some bounce to it. So. I kept the um, top two notes right here, but the root note, the bass note, I wanted to be more bouncy. And then I literally just copied it over, pitch it down too. So then I copied these root notes down again. And this is, I did this whenever um, I didn't have an EQ. I have an EQ cutting out all the lows on this because I put a bass in it, but um, at the time, it sounded a lot better. Right? And then I decided, well, let's switch this up. So I also copied this over, and I added just an extra note right here. And then I put the note to where it's only hitting while the bass note is. So it just adds a little bit more. Right, so then I copy these up and then I started working on the melody. And I, I really wanted something dark at the time. So you see all these half steps? That's a half step right there. Half step is how you get the darkest melodies possible. You want always, if you want a super dark melody, you want half step. So you wanna go up, there's a semitone, right? But then instead of having it like this, I didn't like that. So I skipped that middle note. And I thought that was better. And I kind of messed it around a little bit. I didn't really find anything else I liked. So then I copied it over. And boom. And went like that. And I just really wanted something bouncy and catchy. Like you can get that melody stuck in your head. That's the first part of the melody, and the counter melody is stacked on top of it. So you can see right here, it's literally just layering those two sounds an octave up, but then I had the idea, what if I just take these two and offset it? And boom, that's kind of how that came up. And I just did that over and over. And then I kind of was just chopping these um, up a little bit to see if I can find anything better. And boom, that's basically how I did it. And then go ahead and delete that. And next thing is the guitar. So this guitar right here, I'll play it out real quick and then I'll show you how I did it.
And so for this, I just kind of went within the scale. Like I already had these notes played out already um, in my counter melody. And I kind of just went there and just messed around until I found something good. And I don't really know how to explain it for y'all, except for I just went in the scale. And I went here. I started off here. Now I copied it down. And then I kind of copied this over here and then just did a little run. And then boom, copied it over. Only thing different is I added an extra note. Then for the counter melody, I took this one right here. I literally just copied it over a bunch of times. Then I was kind of like, mm, it's kind of getting repetitive. So boom, took this. And then I was like, oh, it's too repetitive still. Pitched it up a little bit. It's like, nah, let me pitch it up here. And then, boom, copied it over. And then I decided, well, I think it's still a little too similar. So I just added an extra note. Boom. That's how I did it. Now on to the next instrument. It is a little organ. And I just did some runs with it. That's what it sounds like. For this, it's just runs within the scale. So if you go over here and do the scale. So that's pretty much more or less the scale. I'll probably have a, at least one note off there, but I kind of just click it in and hear it. And if I think it's good, it's good. I started off by doing this and then doing Alt S and rolling it, but I didn't like it as much. What I did next was I just went on four step right here and boom, played it out like that. And it was easy. And then it's literally, and then I did this. And this was the next note, and I just went one, two, three, four, five. And you gotta know within five, like if you pitch anything up five or anything down five, it's still in the scale. And it was just an easy way for me to build a mostly little chord. And then next, I did the same thing. I had it actually copied over, but I was like, nah, it's too much. So I'm gonna do two notes instead. Right? But instead, I added. A little here right here one two three four five that's how that works now I go right here one two three four five six so it's not quite there but it sounds good so it doesn't really matter if it sounds good it'll work and then right here it's just run one two three four so if you think uh, right here that is a major chord right so you go one two three four five, six, seven, right? So basically on the scale. So if I went minor, I don't sound that good. Major, and it's all messing around with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a minor chord right here. But instead I just moved the top note and then minor, minor, major again. It's all just messing around with it until you find the pitch. And I'm sure there's a, like if you know music theory, it's a lot easier for all that, but I don't really know. I never learned music theory. I just kind of go off what I hear. And next thing is I just have some expand little wahs. And these are from a guitar. That's what they sound like. I usually use these in um, a lot of melodic beats. You can hear them in melodic beats. But for this, I heard the wahs in the original melody and everything like that. So I was like, well, let me just take those over and let me use that. So I decided to put more waz in it and why not? So NBA and will be some stuff. So next thing I did, uh, open up Xenology and got a trumpet. That's what it sounds like. Just copying the bass notes. It's super simple. You see down here, all these bass notes, literally just copied those. Then I copied the trumpet again and went into here. Boom. 
literally just copying the bass notes it's nothing at all and the thing about the bass notes is i like having the boom boom that's like a iconic nba Youngboy type vr style and so i decided to use it there and for this i just put on eq cutting out all the lows and most of these are stock the one thing i did actually add i added reverb on a lot of stuff but i added effect rack on the guitar i didn't say that at the time and boom that's the preset i used so and the reason why i added this eq on there was because i added a bass i'll play that in a minute so then i added this little pluck so it sounds like right here same thing as the organ and it's literally just because i hear those a lot in nba Youngboy loops and beats and stuff like that so i decided to add that in there i thought it was tough and this is the bass and this is why i added an eq onto the piano that's what it sounds like If you have a phone and no headphones, you probably won't be able to hear it. It's very low, but it adds just a subtle bit of bass because I had the whole bass being in the piano, but I didn't like that. And I wanted the piano to fit with another bass and this is the best bass I had. And I also played the bass by itself and I thought without the piano it was missing something. So I decided just to put the piano in there and mix it out. And the last thing I put in here was just a little drum fill from Exclusive. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do all that stuff. I'm posting consistently on TikTok as well as YouTube Shorts. The YouTube Shorts are not as good as TikToks because I only have a minute on the dot. Like, I can't go a second over or else it will be a YouTube video. So, I have to cut out some things because my TikTok videos are around a minute and 20 to a minute and 30 seconds. But my YouTube videos are much uh, shorter because they have to be. So if you want the full thing, it's only cut down a little bit, but if you want to see the full thing, go to my TikTok. It'll be linked down below. And until next time, thank you for watching. Peace.